Holy smokes. So yeah. I have to admit. I did troll you guys a little bit. Now, not my... Most of my subscribers. I've got like... I don't know, 550 subscribers or something like that. And there's several of you guys who are just way fucking cool. Um, I talk to regularly. You guys comment on my videos. And um, there's just a lot of really cool people that um, I've met. I, I'm not even going to start naming you guys because I know I'll, if I do, I'll start leaving people out. And I don't want to leave anybody out because all of you guys are just so cool. Um, but... Then there's some. And I put up a video the other day. And I knew this was going to happen. I put up a video. Which was. An extremely proud moment. Uh, hold on a second. Let me just chat. I want to make sure this is running. Because I want to get this right. Yep we're running. So. I put up a video the other day. Which was. A really proud moment that um, made me and, um, and my brothers and sisters really happy. Um, in fact, you know, the pontoon video, you know, showing the new pontoon with my mom driving and everything. And, um, you know, I haven't seen, you know, my dad's been gone five years now. And it's been really hard on my mom. I mean, my mom and dad were together for like, I think almost 60 years, you know, maybe 60. A long time. And, and when you lose a spouse like that, we're a pretty tight-knit, you know, group of family. We might all fucking hate each other's guts and shit like that. But, dude, when it comes down to blood, dude, my family... <laughs> if we need to, we're going to come come together and come after your motherfucking ass, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is we're a tight-knit family, we're very close, and when my father passed, you know, that, that's that's really hard on my mother, and it still is very hard on her, and that moment that I captured in the video and I put on YouTube, where my mom was smiling and, and genuinely happy. There haven't been too many moments in the last five years where us kids have got to see her genuinely happy. And it was important to me to capture it, you know? And I'm going to capture it, and, and I'm going to save that video, whether I leave it up on YouTube or not. But the point being is I, I eh, got to admit, kind of trolled a little bit because I knew that there was going to be the scum of the earth, shitty people coming to that video and making sick, grotesque comments because that's who they are. That's what they are in this world. That's what they have to contribute to the world. Okay? These guys, Will Galvin did a video not long ago talking about... Uh, certain people that, you know, have harassed me on my channel. Anybody that goes on YouTube, you're, you're going to get harassed, you know. And there's a certain extent, you know, most of the time you just block and ban. Um, but, Will did a video where he mentioned uh, one of the people that's been, you know, harassing me. He's kind of modified. And there's another one that's kind of loony. And those two clowns have several accounts that they, you know... And what's really fucking strange, and Petey Two Finger pointed this out with the modified guy. He was like, dude, I went to his channel and, and in the comments section, he goes, I'm reading. And he goes, and I'm looking at this guy and he makes a comment and somebody replies to it. And I know it's the same person having a conversation with himself with two different accounts, you know, it's just, it's, it's just funny, you know, I mean, that's, but I guess whatever to entertain yourself, 
But when you come to a video like that of mine where, you know, I'm sharing a moment of my life, you know, you guys, even my subs that I love to death, you guys don't know me or my family, but most people see a video like that, they can appreciate the moment. And, um, and most of you guys do. And then, you know, there's a couple guys that want to say some shitty things and grotesque, sick things that are only meant to hurt people that they've never met, they don't know. They're, they have an issue with me because, mostly because they're Democrats or whatever. <laughs> and it's not even that. It's, uh, you know, they disagreed with me. And, and that's fine. I, I'm up for debate and I'm up for disagreement. But some people just can't stand that somebody else has another opinion. And they want to convince them that their own opinion is right. And uh, that's how this all kind of started with the uh, Durzex. You know, he, uh, he came to my channel and, and uh, started making comments. And it was cool in the beginning, but... And I was just like, look, you know, just leave it alone, you know, to agree to disagree and go away. And he just can't handle that. And actually what I'm doing right now by even mentioning him is giving him exactly what he wants. And the, and the reason he made those shitty comments on my, my family video was because I've been ignoring him. And that's what he can't stand the most is to be ignored. And I've been deliberately ignoring him and other comment section where he's saying things about me um, and he can't stand that. So I kind of trolled you guys a little bit because I knew he'd be around and I want you guys to all go to my last video before I take it down. I want you guys to go over there. All you guys who watch my videos, I want you to go over to my last video, the one that I made, sharing a moment with my family and I want you guys to go back over there and look at the comment section and read through the comments. And I want you to see these people because these people deserve to be known for who they are and what they are. Okay? I mean, we all need to know that these people exist. You know what I'm saying? So go back to my... Please, every one of you guys, I want you to go back to my... My last video, I know I put some Don Shipley stuff up, but before that I did a video, and I think the name of the video was A Proud Moment or something like that, which it was, very, very proud moment, very touching for us kids. Uh, go back to that video, and I want you guys to go read through the comment section, and I, because these, these guys are so great, they really need to be known for who they are, and I want you guys to see the comments they leave and uh, maybe let them know what you think about that you know it's a uh, it's a strange thing uh, and my buddy Will has said it many times there's a learning curve to YouTube um, I just like everybody else I got on YouTube to I created an account so that I could comment you know and, uh, and then eventually I made a video <clears throat> and then I made some friends, uh, some internet friends and I've met a lot of really cool people. Um, and then as more people, I started getting more views and more subscribers and Jesus, I mean, I only got like 500 subscribers, 550 subscribers. Um, I notice that there's there's people that come around who just you know most of the time it's just they're, they're just so dumb that and the guy that we're dealing with on the other video he's so fucking dumb I mean you can't teach him he's impossible he probably I'm guessing he probably is a high school dropout doesn't have very much education or he had a very very tough time even getting through school because I've tried to teach him that he doesn't even get the concept that one person has one opinion, another person has another opinion, and you can have glorious conversation about, you know, these are my beliefs, these are your beliefs, and, and man, you can learn a lot 
from a conversation like that. But this guy's too dumb to even have a conversation. He's just like, I don't know. You guys could go over and, and check him out and see for yourself how fucking dumb he is. But, uh, and it's one thing to be ignorant with a low IQ. That I get that. I, I understand that. But it's another, another thing to just go make fucking comments the way these guys make comments. And, and I'm going to leave all of it up for a little while. I might take the video down just because it's really not a video for my channel. It's just, like I said, I really just share in the moment with you guys, uh, my the people that I, I'm friends with here on the internet who, um, you know, we're internet buddies, you know what I mean? I just kind of share in the moment with everybody. And then these clowns come out of the woodwork. And some of the shit that they said down in the comments is just like, I mean, why would you do that, man? I guess that, you know, your whole intention in life is to, you know, hurt anybody you can. You know? And maybe just because you disagree with me, you want to hurt everybody you can. I don't know. That to me that's sick. I was raised a different way. I can promise you that I have never once in my life intentionally hurt somebody. I might call you a stupid fuck. I might call you a dumb faggot or a stupid fucking communist or something like that. But I, I would never uh I, I I've just never done that. That's that's just something normal to me that you know you go through life and Nobody goes out to intentionally hurt anybody else, you know, or hurt somebody's feelings. Um, but there are people out there who that's that's all they have in life. It makes them feel better about themselves, you know. Uh, usually it comes from people with low self-esteem. And uh, like I said, it just it makes them feel better about themselves to hurt somebody else. And that's a shame, man. I mean, I, I actually feel sorry for them in some ways because um, that's a shitty way to go through life. At, this, at the other, you know, on the other hand, you know, it's just like you have no use for people like that. There's really no place in society for people who intentionally hurt other people, you know. trying to think of what I really have to add to that, but, uh, yeah, you know, I knew, I knew the second I uploaded that video that there was going to be some sick bastards coming out of the woodwork, and we all know exactly who it is, you know, it's, it's three people tops, you know, and they have different accounts, and they actually, that's the other thing you got to watch, is because they'll, they'll actually comment, and then they'll comment with a different account back to themselves and then come out with a different account and reply to that comment. It's the same fucking person. You can tell by the way they type. It's weird, man. It's just, it's just strange. I, I picture this person living in a, living in a, uh, a basement somewhere dark and musty and, um, <laughs> you know, it's just some weird fucking individual that happens to have an internet connection. Anyway, that's the point of this video. I would like all of you to go back to my last video, the one I did with the pontoon, and go read the comment section and read through them, and maybe tell those guys what you think, or let me know what you think about people who would leave disgusting comments, especially on a video like that, where, like I say, I'm just... I was sharing a moment that I, I'm going to save that video because it's really important to me. The, the smile on my mom's face, the, the happiness in her eyes, that I want to save that because maybe, the, you know, well, eventually there's going to be a day where she's not around anymore and I want to be able to go back to that and, and look and say, you know what, she was happy that day, you know. And really, that's why I started this channel. I mean, I really didn't start this channel. It really... So this day, you know, this channel really isn't for you guys. Um, it's for me and and my family and my kids to, you know, one day when I'm dead and gone, they can 
jump on YouTube and see what their crazy old man was up to talking a bunch of crazy shit, you know? But, as much as it's, you know, it's for me, you know, there's several of you who enjoy my videos. Why? I have no idea. I appreciate every one of you guys, and like I said, I've actually met a lot of cool people here, but, uh, go on back, check out the comments, maybe let those guys know what you think, uh, and let me know what you think, alright? Peace out, mediocre people of YouTube.